The basic workflow when designing a circuit in Interconnect begins with adding the schematic circuit elements and by setting the properties of the elements. For example, you can add a waveguide element and set the properties that characterize the waveguide such as the length, effective index, group index, and dispersion. Many common generic circuit elements, like waveguides, phase shifters, splitters, and so on, can be added from the built-in element library. In a later section of the course, we will discuss how to add your own circuit elements. Next, decide the solver type that you want to use. This can either be the frequency domain solver, to get the steady state response to the circuit, or the time domain solver, if you want to get the transient response. Based on the type of solver, you can add the corresponding sources, detectors, and analyzers for that type of simulation. For example, for a frequency domain simulation, you can use an optical network analyzer, also called an ONA, to get the transmission spectrum from a circuit, whereas for a time domain simulation, you can specify a source with a time varying signal and use an oscilloscope to measure the output over time. Once all of the circuit elements, sources, analyzers, and detectors have been added, and the connections between the elements are wired up in the circuit schematic, you can run the simulation. After running the simulation, the simulation is switched from layout mode to analysis mode, where the analysis can be performed by plotting results from analyzers and detectors, exporting data, and using the script to collect and perform post-processing of the data. Based on the analysis, you may want to modify the circuit design. You can also switch to layout mode to make the desired changes and rerun the simulation. The next unit will introduce the circuit layout editor.